Hello everyone, it's Alex here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time. In the last video, we started the Forest Temple and got a few keys. And however, we were going to go into this door, but however, there's something you need to know. There are three key doors coming up. You guys can see right here? These doors need a key for them. So yeah, take note of that. Silver means normal key. So we're actually going to go in here because there's a reason why. Let's see. Oh, it's got to sign time. And basically, there's a third key in coming up in that room, but yeah. Basically, we need to get three keys in a row in order to move on there. So, yeah. So we're going to go in here first. Here we can with the Degu Battle. And... And we could just sneak fast enough so we get a Degu stick, or not. There's also some Octoroks here. Do you know that? So the items are here. Turn the pass are here. So, do you know that? Don't you rouge or something? And. There's a gold toe up there, but we can't reach it yet. We have to get up here first somehow. So, take note of that. And the police goes right here. Oh, yeah, one thing you want to know. Um. Watch this. The Hulk Shot can easily kill these Skatolas. In fact, they can even kill the big Skatolas from their bellies. That's right. They, they don't want, you don't want to kill them from the bellies. You have to choose to kill them. Just fire and kill. It's pretty easy to kill them right now with the Hulk Shot. For now. However, yeah. So Hulk Shot is like the best item against these Skatolas. However, there's just that one right there that we just can't seem to reach from our Hulk Shot. So... We gotta make sure it doesn't see us and turn purple, like that. And yeah, because it'll knock us off and do the entire climb all over again. So yeah, we're not good enough in order to kill that thing, so we have to try to climb up and and don't let us see it. Come on! Let's just go and kill this. Let's just get a no. Let's go away from this stupid Skotola. And get into this hole right here because. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank goodness. Phew. Okay. There's a blue bubble. And now I found use for these Deku Nuts. Yeah. Seriously found use for these Deku Nuts right here. Tiny spoo bubbles. Pretty easy. Yep. Yeah, look at that Degu Nut icon right next to the key. Get some Degu Nuts and... And guess what? Watch this. Yep. Once again with the manly opening of the chest we get. The dungeon map. And let's see. Hmm. So we got two floors. A first floor, a basement one, and basement two. Okay, one thing to note, um, guess what? The second basement, see right there, the second ba- uh, not the second basement, the first basement. That's actually where the key we need is, so, let's go in here to this area. There's no Dagobama, which is, uh, like, something. And, oh, it's just this, it's called Waltola. Gotta go here, and... Hit this red switch because right here is the location of yeah the keys down there. So we're gonna press the switch. We're gonna drain the water. So yeah. Oh yeah. There's also some enemies around here. On ow, suit Octorok. I'm getting damaged too much. Come on. This is Octorok. That's what you get for damaging me a lot because yeah you suck. Don't need those thing nuts. Anyway, it's gonna be pretty hard to get there's there's something up here. We need to angle it very carefully in order to get this skotola. Yeah, you're I'm hook shining right there, but however I'm just not doing enough and I'm just falling to the river. Which is a problem. You see something over there, you might notice what it is. But yes. I'm trying to watch on this so it goes to the toilet and not fall off. So yeah. 
Yeah, you wanna know why? Yep, not just Anus to the toilet. I spare the curse. So you wanna aim this very carefully and precise. Like this. There we go. Right here, so. And we can kill this with right here. And there he is, 51. And we'll just open this chest right here. He's just like, oh, okay, so again. This is recovery art, so. It's really useless because we're starting to get low on health, but. Um, we don't have. You still have a bit of health, but. I'm really concerned about my health. And thank goodness that was a fall, because now we need to start our health fully, because there's like two recovery arts right here. And. Yeah. And there's a chest in the bottom of this basement one hallway. So that's it. This is the first. This is just the first basement. Interestingly. Anyway, this chest right here is. The third key we need, and yeah, now we're going to go get some stuff we need. Like for example, the dungeon item, and of course, yeah. Okay, basically, you know what we need to do? We need to kill those four pose, and yeah, each of those four pose has the fires we need. If we get all four fires, then we can go to the base second basement, because we know something. The second basement is where the boss lurks. Ow! Stupid! Thank you, Baba. I just healed up. Really? Oh my goodness. Well, now we're out of that room. We can just go back here and just look for some things we're stuck on because here's literally the main hub of this dungeon. He's already in, just take some stuff. And I probably think that the dungeon item will be here. In that in that pond. Well, basically what the dungeon item can do. Alright. Now let's use all three these lock keys lock these doors. And watch this. See look at that. The hook shot can actually kill these three fellas pretty easily. Like that. You don't need to use turning around and you actually just do that. Oh, I can this bubble pretty easily with our thank you nuts. Yeah, let's climb up and climb up again. Climb the ladder of awesomeness. Okay, now in order to get to around, there are arrows painted on the floor. Basically, these arrows, what these arrows can do is literally they can actually just do some stuff. Oh, I'm going to push this out here because. Basically, you go around here, you'll be right behind this block. And there's a ladder right here. Let's go check what's up this ladder, first of all. Hey, there is something, but we just need the dungeon item. You can guess what the dungeon item is, literally. Yeah, you can actually just guess what the dungeon item is easily, because... You might have seen that already in some dungeon, but it's gold now instead of... Oh yeah, we already seen the gold one. Yeah, you did see the gold one, and... What am I doing? The arrow's not staying that way. Let's just push it this way. And it's not that way old enough, so let's just push this way. Let's try it again. <laughs> wow, I pushed you early. Okay, now it should be. I think I'll push it back a little bit. There we go. Now we're pushing this way. And let's see those arrows say. Where to push it next? Okay, the arrows say we need to push it this way. Oh, wait, we need to push it all the way over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a very interesting puzzle. So push it all the way over here. Right here the wall slam, just stop and then we just all we can do now is just go this way and push it this way. And what this block will do is it will fall over here. Use make use of a platform and now we just climb up again. I just need to like you can pull himself up right there, but yeah. Okay, see some platforms for platforms and we push this red block. The red 
red or brown. Looks like brown or something. Brown as in brown. Brown as in. Why am I saying about brown? Okay. Oh uh, yeah. What evs? Let's just open up this ladder and push it all the way. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure. But that uh, looks like green or blue or something. But this one looks like brown or red. It involved this arrow and that's when it slams. So now we have to go down the ladder. Or just jump down and then just go back to the block. And come up here. And then next thing we do is push this block. Oh yeah, this way, yeah. We have to push it this way. Yeah, the arrow is that way. See so it push it all the way this way. All the way. All the way. That's right. All the way. Then just go up this way. And yeah, coming up this way is something you wanna know. Come up this ladder and And you might notice something. There's two blue bubbles and you both sun you sun the with the thank you nuts. Stop playing around. This is stun them again. I just kill this blue level. I feel like it. I feel like this blue level. Come on, die, die, die. Thank you. And now we need the second blue key. That's the second key. This key. Oh my god! The hallway is all twisted! Oh my god! Well, it's untwisted if you just shoot that eye, but. Okay, watch for this. Watch for shells and monsters hanging from the ceiling. Alright, here's a warning. There's an enemy called Wallmasters. Basically, they take you back to the beginning of the dungeon. Oh yeah, see the chest there? That chest is where the boss key is. Watch for the Wallmasters, and here is the final key we need. And... Hey, is that one of the post sisters? She's gone. Can't do anything here yet. Because they to fire something at that painting. Okay. Now heads up, coming up we got a very interesting enemy boss fight, it's very hard, because you have a time limit, the time limit does not begin to a certain point, anyway, the first part is actually just fight one Stalfos, yeah, fight one Stalfos, we, we wait for it to attack, There we go. Ow! Oh wait! Ha! -ha! I hurt you first, ha! -ha! But I think it hurts it's in your face. So yeah, take him down, and he's dead. However, here come two more. That's right, two more. Here comes the challenge. Unlike the last one, when the one dies, I just two hits. We have a time limit. You need to beat the other one before you revive. So yeah, the timeline begins when the first of those dies. I think we got in this point right here, and aha! And the game's lagging, aha! But I put them into this spot, and they died. Oh, both of them died. And as you might have guessed, this must be the dungeon item. This is the dungeon item. And what could the dungeon item be? Well, there's ice here, so that's to be a shooting item. Could it be? It's the fairy bow. It's the bow. On the social screen, you can say the C's buttons. Press C to take it out and hold it. As you hold down C, you can aim with the control stick. You C to let it fly with an arrow. Yeah, as you see, here it is. The dungeon item. And you may be wondering, why is it on these four? Well, there's a reason why. But let's take out the arrows of awesomeness. It's March. And yeah. Let's see. Trees come in. Which are we? Are we? Um, no, we're not. We aren't here yet. I want to go into the other room. I want to take out the other post sister first, because yeah, the other there's another door in that corridor, but actually you need a key in order to move on in that corridor. Anyway. 
you just shoot these paintings. I'm just gonna try this again. I'm just gonna try this again. And she isn't there. So where is she? I feel like shooting this painting. Like that. You can shoot all three paintings. Yeah, like that. That's how you shoot the arrows. Awesome. It's like sniping. Okay, you need to make sure you shoot this from an angle because... Oh, come on. Really? And then now we just try this again. Yeah. You can shoot all three paintings. And when that happens, the first post is there appears. Like that. This is down there. The first little sister, her name is Joelle. Amber she appears. She disappears, so that means her fire's gone. Watch over her fire because. Yeah, her stick is. Oh, come on, really? Come on, let me just get a hitch on you, please. There we go. Aha! Hit her. Let's wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and... Jump attack is awesome. Jump attack is awesome. Jump attack is awesome. Jump attack is awesome. There we go. We killed the first little scissor, and the first flame has come. That means... The first flame is been restored, and here's a pickup item. This is an arrow. They give you five arrows. And in this chest, if you might guess, is a... Key. Alright, there is a locked door in that corner over there. But however, there is another post sister as well. And it's the blue one. And also in this room is the compass. That's where she is. is that's the where the post sister is. No, no, no. Not fire. There's, there goes this first here's the post sister taken down. Why am I not, not... Let's see. Now I'm at a point where... Why am I holding C? Now I'm at a point where they actually just give me from both places. Let's try that again. And there goes there goes the second Pilato. And there goes the third. And there's the second, the Post Sisters. There she goes. And... Here she is. Does so that attack is very annoying. This is Beth. Beth is the blue one. And when, like the other two, she's a post sister and she has different attacks. So make sure you try a jump attack when you have the chance. Look at that, because she's invincible right there. So let's try this again. Watch out for that. You want to hit her because she does nothing when she. And she does that twice, really. It's just nothing when she said so. Or not that. This. It's just this, too. And there we go. There's the second of the post sisters dead. And there's the blue fire being restored. And in this chest, as you might have guessed, is the compass. That's right. The freaking compass. Where are you? There we go, we need to get some arrow with fill. Okay, one arrow is five arrows, two arrows is ten arrows, three arrows are fifteen for information. And let's get the compass already because we need to get it. And yeah. And now we're gonna just go back up because the pinions are gone. And, yep, so there's the key we need. So let's just go in this door right here and see what's in here. And... Watch for the shadows of the monsters that hang from the ceiling! Watch out for the wall masters, again. Let's climb this ladder. Let's climb this ladder. And what's in here? A normal hallway with a green bubble. Yeah, they're with the arrows or information. You don't need to use the digging nuts. And we need another key, so... Next time, I'm going to find another key. So, yeah. Later,